a time where many people are looking for shortcuts to success and would rather make money through sometimes in some cases illegal means we would like to celebrate the lives of people who have decided to go through the right corners even though it might be longer even though it might, it might be more difficult it might be more tedious and today we celebrate the life of a young man who is a carpenter he's mastered the art of carpentry and not only does he send himself to school he sent six other siblings to school he leads us into his world of carpentry and we urge you to come along I'm Jafet Yakubu Danfilani. I'm known as Veli. I'm a furniture maker, also a student. I work here, I live here at Kubo. This is where I work and I do everything I do and make people happy with the kind of goods I give them. How I got into furniture carpentry business was I was sitting back with my dad at home. We felt it's good we need to start something. I need to work on something because of we know how the future is going to be. I shouldn't grow to become somebody that will be sitting back at home having nothing to do because even graduates right now, they are through with school but they aren't having anything to do. So that's the reason why I started furniture. About the inspiration, I really want to create something that will give to the view of what the customer is giving me. Sometimes I wouldn't want to just sit back and just stay like this. No, I go back, I work at night, thinking of how to bring out the blueprint for what people really want. I have to go back, work myself before I come back, and I will give you in accordance to what you really want. That's what I do. If man don't work, you know go chop. Because don't we, we don't want to be a look what man, somebody that doesn't do anything. I have to work to feed myself. Because because without eating, I can't exist. And also about for the hunger, I would want to talk about my shelter also. I need to think of how to clothe other people and take care of them when they are in need of that. Yes. Then now about the passion. I have this work in my mind. I really love it. Whenever I do this, I say, God, man, I love this. I know what it's, I'm going to gain from it when I go in the future. So that's another zeal I took. Even also, I post my work on my pages, my Instagram, my Facebook, just because of the passion I have and for people to see the real act of creativity. That's why I really love furniture and it helps also. I'm the first of my family. We family of six. I've got three siblings, my sister, and my two other brothers. I would just want to tell every other youth out there, every other person out there, you should just dedicate yourself. Keep calm and learn the work. You might not know what you might gain from it in the future. With persistence, I assure us that we are going to achieve our goals. We are going to get where we want to be. That's what I believe. And you should hold firm on that. That's what I'll be telling everybody out there that is like me. Making a chair, a furniture chair, first of all, they'll have to nail the skeleton. If you nail the skeleton, you bring it to the orchestras. Then we start by cartoning. When we cut on the chair, we put rubbers. We rubber the chair. After rubbering the chair, then we foam the chair. When we are finished foaming the chair, then we bring our materials. We get our materials and start taking our measurements. After taking our measurements, due processes, we cut our materials. After that, you sew it. When you sew it, so that it should fit in in according to the size that you want it to be. After doing that, you place it on your chair that you have already foamed. You tack it and make it a very good and perfect job. That's how we make furniture and that's how we make it clean. Being a young man, having so much dreams, having so much view, I've seen so many people in life. I've heard of so many people. I've seen how they work, the kind of machines they use. I would also want to have that. I would want to have bigger machine that I will create anything, anything that you know it's going to serve you okay. I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give everything I know it's good for furniture making. Is it the wardrobe? Is it the chairs? Is it the mirrors? Is it the bedside? Are they the beds? Any kind, I'd, I would want to give it to you. That's what I plan on making. A very big furniture company. I believe 
and I know I want my future to be blissful. I want it to be bright. I want to be a big man also. <laughs> I don't say that everything, everybody go pray for Bidacha. Yes, that's what I desire for myself. And that's what I pray for every other person out there. I believe we are going to be big and I believe we are going to be rich. God help us all. It actually pay and it must pay. It actually, why I said it actually pay and it must pay is because that time that you used in learning that work, it wasn't a, an easy tax for you to sit back due to all what happens, go here, go there, this one will say this. Right now, I know I can't just, I can't just start saying much, but I know I thank God for my life. I thank God I can afford some things I need for myself. That's one thing I'm really happy for and who I am today. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.